Michael with another outdoor adventure. In the next week we're going to be doing a lot of hunting. So we've got the trailer full of gear, the dogs in the back and we're heading up to go for a hunt. And it's Wednesday today and we're coming back home probably Sunday. We've got all the gear there. Dogs there in the back, Cooter and Albie. Cars all packed. And we've just stopped on the river here. And we are about to head off again. This is this is our um, drink stop. We're gonna head off in a minute soon. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you on the next update. We're at Hay now, it's been about two hours since the last stop. We're just fueling up, ready to kick off again. Alright, so it's about four hours now. It's dark, obviously. We've got the car here and trailer full of stuff. We just tried to um, start the little cook here to do some two minute noodles, but it blew up. Swag here. Dad's got his swag set up there. And we're just about to have a sleep. We've got the dogs in here, Alvin and Cooter. And we're going to get up early in the morning. We're heading off now. Alright, so we just pulled over now. It's been about two and a half hours. Dad's just taken a number and yeah, we just stopped out here on this road. Beautiful day. I'm gonna probably let the dogs out soon for a little drink of water and run around. Just go to find the spot somewhere along this stretch of road, so Dad can't quite remember where it is, but it's pretty thick. So um, we'll soon get it stuck in some pig hunting. Alright, we've just played the dogs up. Having a drink. That is damn. Always sniffing some scent there. Yeah. That might be just in here. Yeah, because he's smelling right here. Look at him. Well, everyone, it is absolutely scorching. <laughs> That's our only shade. It's so hot, the sun's directly up. It's probably 38 degrees, maybe. Dad's just actually gone down to the dam. Give the dogs a swim, because they're like cooking up a storm too. Dad's got some bangers there, cooking on the fire for lunch. Anyway, this morning we uh, went for a drive after that little hunt. The crops are actually ripe, so hunt on them tonight. So I reckon we'll get some pigs. Just had them sausages. Now we're just going down to the dam. Oh, that ground is cooking hot. Ah, far out. We're going for a swim in this dam. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Alright, so we're going back down to the dam now, and we're going to show you some pig sign that is not very old, and just explain what the different types, how you can tell that it's a wild pig. Alright, so what we have here, we're at the dam here now, and on the water's edge, you can see here, there's these diggings here. Dig up with their nose. They use their nose to dig up the ground to find food in that. And the more smoother parts there, as you can see there, it's more smooth. That's from where they've wallowed in the mud, which is where they cool themselves down. In they the, don't have any sweat glands. Because they don't have any sweat glands. But that's probably last last night's, Dad. Yeah, keep it going. I'll show yep. you over here. And when they've had their wallow, they walk up and they itch themselves on the trees. There's uh, a good one there. Better one over here. 
This is a pretty good one. Where they're rubbing all the mud off themselves. Right there. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have tea now. What Dad's just gonna get some sausages. So we just like a simple grill like that. Get the sausages out and lay them that way. Get them all nice and neat together like that. So they cook together, and we're just gonna put some lemon and cracked pepper on these ones. And then we wrap them up. Come over to the fire. I've just made up a couple of sticks I've found with a rock to weigh it down. And we just spin that over the fire. Ten minutes either side. Now they've been on the fire for about ten minutes and we're just um, turning them now. Another five minutes on that side. Looking pretty good. Easy way of doing it. Cool. They're pretty good. They're done now. So if you forget to bring your hot plate or barbie or something like that, and you got a toaster, little bush toaster thing, put your bangers in that, put some spices on it, and cook them. And that's really easy to do, and they're yummy as. We just had them sausages. We're in the car now, got the dogs in there. We're just going to do a bit of stubble until um, it gets a bit darker, because it still is, the sun's still up a bit. So we're going to do some stubble, and then we'll do some full head crop that's pretty ripe. So I've got my jeans on. And um, yeah, big dad's gonna have the 30-30 on his shoulder. And we hope, cross our fingers, we'll get some pigs. All right guys, we've just came along the um, crop. It's about oh, K away from the crop, I reckon. The crop's just over there. And um, we've just come to this other different dam from where we're camping at and it's just the whole dam's pig sign from and me and dad are, are, are assuming that they're in the crop right now but we're just going to give it a li little bit more to just to get it a bit darker so that we can sneak up on them and we got the opportunity of getting them instead of them getting away but you should see that grass bull rushing that there is all flattened from them walking, rolling around, coming down. That's an old wallow there, but they're just all beanie, and it's all of it is a lot of it is fresh. All this grass here is all freshly got mud on it from today, like an hour ago. Some of these tracks are an hour old, and some of them are very decent pigs. But this hole there is just look at that, they're all pig tracks. All that is just pig tracks and little nose diggings from where they've living up in these, in this beautiful long grass. They love this area. It's all flat on the other side from where they're drinking. And yeah, there's some really good, uh, really good sign here. Nice, nice big tracks. They've all come through here, flatten this down. All tracks there, all the way around this dam, diggings and wallows. We're gonna walk them crops um, until it gets a bit dark, but yeah, really good um, sign that they're here and they're drinking and that they're just hanging around, so yeah. Alright, so we're just finished driving around in the in here at that other dam and where the crop is about 200 to 300 metres up that way and we're thinking the pigs are out in the crop so we're just chest plating the dogs up now Albie's getting done and Kudo will get done in a minute Albie's ready to go alright we're done them now we're just heading to the crop we just got back Pigs too fast. We saw 
we went out the crop and there was a good mob or something like that in there getting around now we could smell them but then we saw them took off and now we chased after couldn't get one though um, too quick they are they're really quick in the crop they're full of energy from the grain and that they've eaten but we've got some water for the dogs Albie's having a rest but we might get up really early in the morning tomorrow for a hunt we were, uh, we were driving back home around the crop and the pig ran across the road Albie went chase it, nearly got it he went out about 500 metres and uh, he didn't get it but then Cooter went out to try and find Albie and got lost so we had to go out and get him anyways they had a good go so we might be having something to eat now got the Jenny going charging some stuff got some lights on and might have a hunt in the morning we'll see what happens Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got no bullets in it. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Maybe. I'm shooting now. Here. Yeah. I think you hit him. Yeah, got him. Yep, we go out and inspect. Come on. Alright, we've just woken up and come down. And Dad's just absolutely smashed. Oh, we reckon. We reckon it's a big boar with a mob of pigs there and dad shot him because the dogs didn't know where he was so. Cooter's onto it It'll be a ball Oh, yeah. see ya Good job Good shot, eh? Yeah I thought that would have been a boar, you know. <laughs> what? Big pig! One more! That's a massive boar! We've been back for about four hours. We're just gonna have some something to eat. It's scorching hot. Dogs are under the car there. And we're just getting under this shade. Try and get out of the heat. Dad shot that pig this morning and then that mob ran away. There was a good boar out in the crop that we didn't see when after we shot that one and he ran in back into the tree line. But we might have a walk of the crops tonight. Alright, so it's about 6.20 now. We went for a hunt last night. We didn't do any good at all. We're seeing heaps of sign and there's a lot of pigs near the dams and that but they're just not coming out on the wheat we thought they were gonna be everywhere on the wheat but they're not so we're gonna go back to camp now pack the camp up maybe two hours ago and we packed up and we've, we've left 
well and truly. We have stopped at this beautiful dam here. Whole heap of wild budgies and stuff flying around. Dogs having a look over there. There's a heap of fresh pigs on. I'm just going to grab a fishing rod because there's a heap of minnows in here. So there might be some reddies or something like that in the dam. Alright, so we've just turned up at the Lachlan River and we're going down to have a fish. Maybe get a yellow belly or something like that. We've seen some massive carp sucking on top of the surface. We might get some pretty big carp. It's so humid. It's actually just rained a bit. And there's heaps of rain clouds coming and it's really, really, really humid. Look at that. Dad just caught this little Murray cod and we're going to release this little fella back into the Lachlan River. Team and Dad caught it, I'm going to let hit Dad release his fish. Yeah Dad. You ready? Yep. Bye bye. There you go. Yeah but you didn't catch the carp there. Oh. Yeah, can you get, oh, wait. Yeah. Can you hop out of the road, please? That was it, he gone now, he just hit it. Got him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's on the snag there. What the, all them other fish? That's him, I reckon, pulled me under the snag. Is he? Yeah. There was a heap of other fish there. Yeah. Look at him, fat as. Freaking went off his nut, didn't he? Ooh. God, there's some snags down there. Yeah, and see room. all the other carp jumping around? What are you You'll be full of carp. Oh. Yeah. Got him. Oh, oh Jesus. Watch your, watch your spoolies oh, there. Look out, Dad. Move out, okay. Come on. Got him up. He is huge. Carp, isn't it? Oh. It comes straight up. It's a big carp if it's a carp. I'll get him in. It's working. What do you reckon you got, Lock? Big carp, I reckon. Massive, too. Look at the rod bend. Oh, he's a big fella. Oh, yeah. He hasn't come up again. He might be something better. Yeah. What you done, snag ya? He'll be right. He's right here. Sure. I've got him good a hook. So look at him. He's coming up. Just slowly going up. Could be a cod. What? Could be a cod. He's massive. Yeah, he's big all right. Yeah. He come right up out there. There must be a sandbank out there. Here he comes. Mm. Yeah, it's a Euro. I think it's a carp. Big bastard. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's yeah. a Euros. Good spot you got there. Sweet. Imagine if it was a big yellow. Imagine that. Here, here's your net. Thanks. You could bring him into that shallow bit again. Yeah, ooh, strong fish. Hmm. The line's good enough. Yeah. Oh, good fight. Very humid, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful fishing weather. I love it, humid to fish with. He's a big one. Yeah. He's seeing you, he wasn't happy seeing you. He'll come, he'll tire. Yes, he will. Oh god, that's a big fish. He took a bit going, Ovi. <laughs> Cod that big, it'd be yummy. Yeah. Oh god, he's big, though. Oh, look at that. 
is one big healthy carp. Look at the gob on him. He wasn't getting off either. No. Oh, he's got some weight about him. Really big fish there. Unhook him and throw the rod back out there. Alright, we've just hooked this fish. Don't know what it is yet. Might be good fish. I just chucked on a live shrimp. It's going off its nut. Maybe it's a yellow belly. It's going off. Might be a good fish. Yeah. Put a yellow belly. That's a yellow belly, everyone. Yellow belly. Where's the net? Beautiful yellow. Don't know if you saw that. Live shrimp, there they go. Just caught this. Beautiful yellow. Live shrimp, mate. He smashed that. Fat. Very fat yellow belly. Very fat yellow belly. There you go. Beautiful yellow belly. Look at him. Beautiful yellow belly. On the um, live shrimp. Put it through their tail, flick it around. There they go. Good yellow belly on that one. Get, it, get the hook out of this bugger and cast him back out there. <sighs> Happy with that catch. I just unhooked that yellow belly. I'm gonna go get some shrimp and get that back out there. I've got Dad's rod here too, I'm gonna re-rig up. He's just stuffing around with the dogs at the moment, so I'll get some shrimp now, and we'll cast it back out there, and hopefully um, he might have some mates out there. We'll catch them. All right, it's starting to rain a bit now, but just hooked on shrimp. It's another little Murray Cod. It's full of Murray Cod in this little spot here. Tiny, tiny one there. Very nice, beautiful colors on him. Good cod there. I'll let him go now. Just about to pack up and I just hooked this little Murray cod, very healthy little one. Beautiful and green. Got him there on shrimp, live shrimp as well. And I'm gonna let him go. Cod there, he's going. Buddy. Got him? Yeah, you got your bed. Dad, Dad just caught this little mongrel, mongrel black carp. We got home about 12 o'clock last night and Dad's done a bit of unpacking this morning. 
car went really good in the heat. Drove fantastic. Good car. Got the diesel drum in. That's strapped up there. And we're gonna refuel up the wagon. Awesome trip. Me and Dad had a lot of fun. We've done 1700k and we got we got one pig. It was too much food for them. All the crops were ripe. They weren't. They could go anywhere they wanted to. There wasn't like a situation where they were all right. They were everywhere, but we just couldn't get them. Too smart. A bit too hot too, so we couldn't walk in the day to have a hunt. So yeah, couldn't even walk at night. It was too hot. But I think the dogs enjoyed it. 33 degrees at midnight. 33 degrees at midnight. It was. There's the new dog coming up. Chicago. She's um she she'll go good on the pigs when she's a bit older. Yeah, purebred bull Arab she is. Really nice dog. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, comments you to ask me about some stuff that you maybe got any questions or you're just wondering about some stuff in general. Thanks for watching and I'll see ya on the next video.